I am Koti. I have 12 years of experience into data science and Python or SAS language. Over the 12 years, I majorly worked into data science for different domains, banking and uh, telecom domain. I am the instructor for uh, data science course. Hi guys, good evening all. How are you doing today? First question, before we are starting the Python uh, introduction for Python to data science, can you see one image, right? What is this? Python. Python. Okay, let me ask a simple question. Is Python is a reptile or snake? Let me ask a simple question. Is Python is a reptile or a snake? How many uh, people, how many of you say Python is a reptile? How many of you say Python is a snake? First of all, try to understand the difference between reptile and snakes. Can anyone do uh, does anyone know about what is the difference between reptile and snake? Reptile is a category in which the snakes come. Which have no feet, or uh, they just uh, like. Uh... Mm, okay, snake. What are the features of snake? What is snake? You might have heard about. You might have seen snake. Or you teaching to your kids, or you teach talking to your friends. Hey, this is okay. Snake. What is snake? Tell me first question. Is snake will move fast or slow? Fast or slow? Think it logically. Fast. Fast. What yeah. about reptile? Fast okay. because they have limbs. Which one is fast? Reptiles. What about snake? Snakes are slow because they don't have feet or limb. Exactly. Reptile is much faster. Right? Yes. Faster and tall. Right? Length, basically tall. So similarly, our programming language, we are discussing about Python, right? Python is one of the fastest programming language as like as reptile. First point is clear. Reptile move very fast. Our Python program execution, executing means running the Python program very fast faster as like as reptile first point is clear sir you may ask a question so python name came from the reptile is it true no no that is not the true python is a general programming language python is a general pro guys are you not able to hear me not able to hear me guys can you hear me Fine, 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 right? Okay. So Python is a general purpose programming language. Everywhere Python are using. Do you believe fourth class student Python uses is he or she using not class studies? Do you believe most of the applications are Develop you are developed or developing using Python. How many of you knew about phone pay? Everyone. Do you know the background of phone pay algorithm use Python language? So everywhere we are using Python. Let me ask a question. Python is a programming language. Python is a Programming language, the first point. Let me ask a question. Okay, what do you mean by programming language? What do you mean by programming language? Can anyone tell me what do you mean by programming language? What do you mean by programming language? What does it mean? Any idea? For example, let me ask a simple question. Let me ask a simple question. Okay. Let me go. Let me open the Google. Do you know HDFC Bank? Net banking login? Everyone have right? Maybe some people might have access bank, some people might have SBI. Now, if I want to log into the net banking, if I log into internet banking, for example, it is a one application, right? Now you're asking the username. Let's say I given six, seven, eight, nine, four, five, six. I enter the some password. Of course, it is wrong. 
sorry net bank as disabled right so now we are communicating with so first of all bank what is bank that's we are talking about hdfc right what is hdfc bank hdfc is a bank what is a bank general meaning you have been to a bank once in your lifetime for sure what is bank what is bank come on which manages assets sir it man so bank is a place where we can do a transaction for deposit and withdraw the cash am i right simple this now you are logged into the bank that means you are storing the information somewhere right where we can store the day where we can store the data 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 database now you may ask a question what is a database database what is a database database is nothing but is a place where we can store the data we can go in detail about the database later right first of all i am talking about the database so maybe this is my data simple to say database files different files right all the files can be stored in the database maybe multiple files this is a file 1 this is the file to all the information can be stored in the data base am i right guys now from this database from this database now data is available at database you want to extract the data hey database give me data will it give for example you you no let's say you parked a car at parking place now you are at home Hey car, will you, hey car, come here. Will it come? Will it come? No. You need to write the some operations, or you need to drive, or you, it should be in the self mode, like Tesla. If your data is in database, if your data is in database, hey data, come here. Will it come? You need to, you need a language which can communicate with database. now for example now which language are we speaking now which language are we are we discussing now english for example if i start speaking in malayalam will you able to understand if i start speaking french will you able to understand the language is a is a communication between two people which can be understand similarly we required a language which can communicate with the database that is a programming language sql is one of the example right sql for example so you need to communicate with a database you required a language am i right giridhar we required a language that is called sql what is python python is a programming language where we can connect with the computer two people can understand a language right for discussing for talking for writing anything similarly there should be in order to speak to a computer or a system there should be a one language right there should be a language which can communicate with the computer hey computer give me a data will it give us no right there should be a language which that can be understand by the system that language is called as the programming language are you clear what is programming language guys can anyone repeat what is programming language a language can be understand by system that is called as programming language generally what are the different types of programming language guys any idea what are the different types of programming language any idea high level low level what are the different types of programming language java 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 is not a programming language one of the programming dotnet is one of the programming languages are different generally programming languages are three different types how many different types three different types low level programming language high level second is assembled third is 
high level programming language. High level. So how many levels guys programming language? Programming three. language are three different levels. One is low level assembled programming mm -hmm. language. Third one is high level yeah. programming language. Do you agree? Sir, yeah. what is programming language? A language which can communicate with the system or a computer. That is called as programming language. So programming language are three different types. Low level, assembled programming language and high level programming language. Yes. Now, first point. What is the first one? Low level programming language. Low level programming language is also called as binary pro binary programming language. Low level programming language is also called as binary programming language. What is binary? Zero. What is binary? Zero, one. Zero, one. Zero, one. Only computer can able to understand. Computer or other name of computer is also called a system can able to understand only binary programming language. For example, one zero. What does it mean? One zero. What do you mean? Ten. ten. As ten. a human, we can read as a ten. Mm. Is it really ten as per the system? It is not. How it will calculate? Oh, no. Answer. Ah, tell me. Tell me. Tell me, Rohit. So, for oh, example, no. what about now? Hundred. As a human, we can read hundred. What about now? Thousand one. One thousand one. But as per system, as per the low level design or a low level programming, is it really ten? Is it really hundred? Is it really thousand one? Definitely no. Even <coughs> system cannot be able to understand. For example, if you give a ten, how system can read? So binary. Binary means. Zero and one. one. That means two, right? Zero and one, two level, right? So it will be calculated something like this. Two to the power of zero into zero plus two to the power of one into one. Base value is two. First value is zero, right? Two to the power of zero into zero, two to the power of one into one. The value is two. What about what about hundred? 2 to the power of 0 into 0, 2 to the power of 1 into 0 plus 2 to the power of 2 into 1. The answer is 4, right? Am I right? What about now? What about now? 1, 0, 1. Nine. So 2 to the power of 0 into 1 plus 2 to the power of 1 into 0 plus 2 to the power of 2 into 0 plus 2 cube into 1. Which is going to be 9. 9. 9, right? 2 to the power of 0 is nothing but 1. Any to the power, anything power 0. Any number to the power 0 is 1. 10 to the power of 0? 1. 1000 to the power of 0? 10,000 power of 0? 1 only. Right? Let me explain you a simple example. Let me explain you a simple example. 0 to the power of 0. 0 to the power of 0, 1 now. 0. 0 only, right? 0 to the power of 0. So, for example, let me 1 to the power of 0. 1. 1. 1 to the power of 0 0.1. 1 only. 1, one, point, only. Of, one point something. One point something. Let me explain a simple logic. One to the power of zero. One, right? Zero. Let's say you did not keep any efforts. Waking up morning, nothing you are doing. Eating, sleeping. That means you are not keeping any efforts. Or you are not doing any efforts. Then end of the result will be you only. If you start keeping your 0 0.1 efforts, minimal efforts, 
then it is going to be one point something. What if one to the power of five? Let's say one to the power of one into five. Your efforts are increasing. The result also will increase. Simple to say, as you're working hard and hard, the results would be good. Okay, let's come back to the topic. Lower level means only system can able to understand the programming language. What is the other name of low level programming language? Binary programming. Zero and one. Okay. Now, how many of you are using mobile phone? How many of you are using mobile phone? I think everyone. 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 Do you know how mobile works? Operating system with hardware, software components. Operating system with hardware and software components. Where is your OS? Operating system is OS. Where is your OS located in your phone? Where is your OS is located in your phone? Operator. What is operator? Sim CPU. Oh, uh... Now everyone is using phone. Don't say I'm not using the phone. You said that how phone is operating. You said that with the help of OS operating system. Where is your operating? Where is operating system located in your phone? Soft. Where it is located in your phone? Exactly. Motherboard, chip, right? Don't go in detail. There will be a chip, right? You might have seen in your phone there is a chip, right? Do you know how chip has been designed? Do you know how chip has been designed? What program has written for chip? Maybe semiconductors, uh, uh, microcontroller, microprocessor, and all, right? That has been designed with the help of assembled programming language. Assembled programming language has been designed for microprocessor, microcontrollers, semiconductor, chips, and all. To write a program for these kind of things, like semiconductor, chips, Microprocessor, microcontrollers, and all. We are going to use which programming language? Assembled programming language. Okay. Now, now let me ask you a first question. Okay. Are you clear about the two things, right? First thing is low level programming, assembled programming language. Any doubt about this two? No. What about the third one? High level programming language. What do you mean by high level programming? Which high level uh, prog uh, ah, tell me, tell me. Which uh, developers or uh, human, human beings can understand the language? High level program means where human can able to understand, read, write the programming language. Where humans like us, everyone, like English, if you know English, you can able to read the programming language. Like some of the examples for high level programming language, such as Python, Java, .NET, C, C++, all are the programming languages are high level programming language where users, users means like us, including me, everyone can able to use the high level programming language only. But is system can able to understand the high level programming language? No. For example, I write as hello world. Hello world. I write an example of hello world. I write an example of hello world. E system can a computer can able to understand hello world? No. What can conduct what? As you said, no. Okay. S what language system can able to understand? Binary. Binary, programming. Binary format. So that means zero and one. That means low level, right? Binary means low level, right? Hello world is high level. Agree with me, guys. Hello world is a high level. The process of converting high level programming language to low level programming language. Because end of the system can execute, right? System need to understand. System cannot able to understand high level programming language. Can able to understand only low level, which is nothing but binary 0 and 1. The process of converting high-level programming language to low-level programming language 
is called as kernel. What do we call? Kernel. Clear? The point is clear? What do you mean by kernel? The process of converting high level programming language to low level programming language. Assemble language means the program which is required to write for executing the chips, semiconductor, microprocessor, microcontroller. For the purpose, we are going to use the assemble programming language. Okay. Again, again, even uh, I, as I belong to the data science, I never worked in my real world. But when I was in BTEC, we used to have a subject called microprocessor, microcontroller. When we started way back in 2008 or 2007. Yes, yeah. Yeah, the, there we write the programming. Again, 99% of the people or 99% of the times, assemble programming language also considers low level. It also be exactly like as a binary only. Like you are giving the input, like you pass on power or electricity. What happens? Circulating the, I mean, right, through circuit or executing, passing the power electricity whether it works or not signal green signal red signal kind of thing but but honestly just to know the basics only we require to know so now tell me so first point let me come back let me come back programming language right first point which programming language it is python Hi, which programming language guys high level only high level so first point is high level okay everyone are clear right what is high level programming language where users can able to understand read write execute okay so that means we are we understand the programming but some some at some point of they found that they created right right they created the software in the year of 1990s 1990s Okay, now can you see your Python, right? So everyone, uh, everyone assumes that Python came from reptile, RSNA. So generally, ninety-nine percent. If I show the Python, everyone think it is a snake. The the creator, everyone thought creator are inspired from the snake. Do you know Amazon company? Do you know Amazon company? Yes. Yeah. How Amazon, uh, apart from Amazon company, there is one more forest is there. What is that? One of Amazon. the biggest, Amazon, one of the biggest forest in the world is the Amazon forest. Apple company. Right. Do you know Manhattan company? Manhattan. Manhattan is a, one of the river in US. In US. Can you tell me one more company? Which came from animal, Twitter. Twitter now name change, right? But uh, it is not animal, right? One Indian company, almost uh, more than seventy members of our student placed in that company. Our students, we are official partner with the company. What is our national animal? Tiger or lion? What is our national animal, guys? Tiger, 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 tiger and tiger analytics. There is a company called Tiger Analytics. It is our official partner for the KSR. Sir, okay. Which What language is used for embedded level? As embedded level, we are using the assembled language only. Like embedded is a chips controller, semiconductor. E-language. Huh? E-language. E-language. E E-language for embedded development. Okay. Okay. Now, the Python can be used everywhere. Like software engineering, web development, data science right software engineering for example you are using hdfc you have seen the hdfc example right hdfc is an application you want to enter the details you want to write a front end for the purpose we use soft i mean python even our ksr company we develop one product for interviews we are about to launch on our anniversary company university on October 24th, our company anniversary, we are going to launch the product. Again, we have developed with the help of data science and Python. Right. Everywhere. 
we are going to use the python especially data science is going to be used sorry especially python is going to be used heavily in data engineering and data science and data analysis right so like top notch companies like google youtube instagram dropbox dropbox again to store the data purpose instagram everyone knew about youtube everyone knew google everyone knew they are using the back end they are using the python now why python why python can you tell me let me ask a simple question guys let me ask a simple question can you tell me one of the hottest topic in the market from last 10 15 days huh java what is the hottest topic in the java what is the hottest news a trending news g20 g20 after g20 also chat gpt chat gpt is old news right what is the trending in mm -hmm. last mm -hmm. sunday if you are the cricket lovers india versus Aust sorry india versus sri lanka right yes. the final of asian Asia final has happened what is the target 50 51 51 yep. 50 or 51 51 <laughs> now one more latest trend one more latest trend Khalistan issue. I guess the uh, ongoing Khalistan issue in Canada and Kali, uh, Khalistan issue. Canada. There is a uh, tight discussion happening between India yes. versus yes. Canada. Right? Let me, I mean, I'm, th I'm not talking about any person or anything here. One second. Let me explain you. Uh, people reaction on India versus Canada. Just in Twitter. Where is that Twitter? See here. See here. I'm Twitter. I'm not talking about anyone here. I'm you know. Writer. I mean not now. See here. So recent court uh, documents reveal that uh, government some some story right so some stories right now my simple question to all of you my simple question to all of you how many people are talking negative negative to india are how many people are against india in twitter what is the reaction what is their opinion about india regarding Kalkistan issue. Okay. How many people are positive towards Canada on Kalkistan issue? You want to know the people opinion based on Twitter only. What I will do? Or else, let me tell you, forget about this Canada issues or I don't know all about this. From, you might have heard about the demonetization. Notes demonetization. Yes. Somewhere other way around, everyone has suffered. Right? Everyone has suffered. Maybe you could not able to get the cash on right time. Right? Everyone has suffered. Demonetization. Cash demonetization. Remember, which year it has happened? 2016. Now, we have a trend. Now, on demonetization, on demonetization, how many people talk negative about demonetization? How many people talk positive about demonetization? Understand? It is a text data, right? To understand, to perform this analysis, which language I can use? It is a natural language, NLP. It can be done with the help of Python. In simple one or two lines of code, we can clean the unclean data to clean data. In one or two steps, we can extract the data, Twitter API connected with the Python. We can extract the required data and then clean the data in two, three steps. That is the beauty of Python. Your code complexity is very, very low. 
reusability is very very high reusability is very very high for example even as a data engineer what is data engineer what is data engineer data two words okay let me explain you i mean the reason i am explaining i want to i want to tell you that what is the importance of python data engineer data engineer what is data engineer guys here how many terms we have how many terms guys we have two terms data and engineer what is data what is data data is information what is information then you can say data what is information collected the information collected from sense. collected information from various sources right various sources what engineer does so can you let me ask you how many of your bachelor of engineering or bachelor of technology how many of your how many of you are bachelor of engineering or bachelor of technology how many of your bachelor of engineering or bachelor of technology come on come on no one no one no one only three no one then may I know what is your qualification guys mba btech only btech bsc okay hmm. let me explain a simple language let me explain a simple language engineer does what it does engineer finding out something that they i mean scientist engineer they are finding out something right engineer reengineering do something new always so we are for example civil engineer we can hey for civil engineer we can ask them can you create a plan for my house mechanic mechanic we ask him can you can you do something for the, my vehicle or some electronic electrical engineer we can ask him can you check my laptop can you check my tv can you check my fan right these are things right that means something new here data engineer means what is data engineer data engineer means collect the data sources collect the data from various sources and keep all the data sources in in one place in efficient way so what is that maybe your data like image data you have a data kind text data you have a normal table data right you have some pdf data right you have some html file data collect the data from these are the different sources of the data and make into a single source make into a single source the storing of this data into single source is a more efficient way how do you clean for example image data how can you store image and table data together how can you store pdf data into table data together you need to make into one format right for that again we are going to use python understand again we are going to use the python don't worry we can teach all these things don't worry okay now that's what these are the companies google google captures the images google captures the text data google captures the table data how all the different data sources will keep into one place it can be done with the help of data engineering to perform these task they are going to use the language called python they are going to a language called python are you clear about this now any yes. questions guys any no. questions any doubt for example even if a text data text data systems cannot able to understand how do you convert text data into number data how do you convert text data into binary data for that purpose again we get, we are going to use the python now any questions guys any doubt any question no. any doubt let me explain you 
why why to use python for data science first of all large community what do you mean by community what is the meaning of community what is the meaning of community come on what is the meaning of community guys society society for example you have a lot of friends just imagine you have a lot of friends you got a problem will your friend able to solve your problem maybe not money wise they can give you guidance or they can support you right for example unexpectedly something happened to you you call to your friends will, will they come will they come let's say on, on you are going on a bike something happened to you you call to your friends nearby friends will they come yes will they come yes that is a community right right large community means python is the only language which is having huge community as compared to other language other programming language as like java dot net whenever you got any issue regarding python the large community will help you to solve your technical problems not your personal problems technical problems right now group of people okay next question so for example see how to read one one full line followed by read automatic convert jupyter notebook to dot py parsing markdown files with python 14 views 443 views 98 views i'm just giving the example okay like how the people will respond to your questions easy syntax as compared to other programming language the code complexity is very very easy suppose you want to print the hello world just we have to use the print of hello world automatically display the answer is hello world so if you know english if you know english i mean no need to be proficient in english if you able to read the english then you can easily understand or read the python code you can easily understand the code for example let me ask a question let me tell you if english might have used word called if when are we going to use if in english language when are we going to use if condition condition if you are going to move it then you should be ready for punishment in college if you don't if you don't read or if you don't study well you cannot pass the exam if you are not coming to weekend i will come to your home that means based on some conditions so in your data set or in your data if you want to apply a condition we are going to use a if statement this is english language right yes or no let me ask you a simple question next thing loop what is a loop for the people by the people it repeats the song also right for the people by the people what else i did not remember Loop, loop is people. nothing but of the repeating. People. For the people means fight every condition. Huh? Sorry? Repeating the condition. Repeating the condition. So again, for. Understood? That means these are the for is English word. If is a English word. That means what I mean to say here, the Python language syntax is very easy to understand. Open source. Sir. Where can I do? Where can I get this, boss? You can get internet free of cost. No need to pay any. No need to pay any single penny. It is a open source. You can download. You can use your in your laptop or your desktop. Rich libraries. These are the libraries, built-in libraries to perform machine learning, deep learning, or data cleaning and all. For example, can you see TensorFlow? TensorFlow PyTorch to perform PyTorch to perform image data analysis images. For example, I given thousands of images. Suppose 
I did one project. If I show your face, you need to identify whether you are a male or female. And as well as you need to identify your age group. Maybe your age is belonging to 25 to 30, 40 to 45, 15 to 16. For that, we are going to use PyTorch. You want to find out the image. For example, you might have seen the movies. A lot of movies are in the real world. Uh, how many of you are in uh, Mumbai or in Bangalore? How many of you are in Bangalore? Mumbai, Delhi? Hyderabad? Yes. Yes. Have you ever crossed the signal? Have you ever crossed the signals? Traffic signal? Yes. Most of Sometimes you may get the chalan to your home. Yep. Right? How it happens, you know, the smart, I mean, cameras which are attached to the signal, it read your bike number. It is a bike number is an image, right? Automatically capture the number. It will search in the database whose number it is and they will send the chalan to their prospective address. Again, they are using the deep learning algorithm. Understand? Again, they are using the deep learning algorithm. Let me ask you one more question. Let me ask you one more question. How many of you know about other card? How many of you don't have an other? How many don't have how many of you don't have an other card? Everyone has other card, right? While taking the other card, they have taken fingerprints, I retina. Right? Whenever, whenever, for example, there is a robbery happened in a particular place. They take the fingerprints. With the help of deep learning, they match the fingerprints here and other database. They extract the prospective person, I retina and all. Again, they are using the deep learning algorithm. Am I right? So, this is the task which I explained, right? It looks like too hard, right? But with the help of these libraries, in two, three lines of code, we can be able to execute successfully. Two, three lines of code, we can be able to execute successfully. Now, some people talk about chat GPT, right? Chat GPT is also called generative AI. Automatically, it is giving the text, right? That can be done with the help of deep learning. That can be done with the help of deep learning. For that, we are going to use the library it's called PyTorch and TensorFlow. We will discuss in detail once we reach that stage. Okay, guys. Next, NumPy. So NumPy is a, another library, numerical Python to perform the numerical operation. For example, you might in your twelfth standard, your BTEC, or in your tenth standard, you might have studied about uh, transformations like uh, logarithms, like uh, Fourier transformations, calculations, integrations, right? To perform all these things, we are going to use the NumPy. Do you know? Do you know Chandrayaan? You might have seen Chandrayaan three, right? Chandrayaan three. When la while landing, while landing, you have seen the longitude, latitudes, right? You have seen the numbers on the screen, right? The longitude, lat latitude has been calculated with the help of NumPy only. They have used the NumPy algorithm. Okay. Next, Scikit learn to perform the machine learning algorithms, right? I would like to predict how much are you going to spend in next one month. I would like to predict who is going to win the World Cup. I would like to predict who is going to win the elections. To predict such kind of things, we are going to use scikit-learn. Pandas means data aggregation, data manipulations. For the purpose, we are going to use pandas. These are the some rich, rich libraries which we do use in our daily life. Am I right? Now, any questions, guys? Any doubt? Job opportunities, guys. If you look into the job opportunities, as per the more popular data science software, greater than 250 jobs. Which, which, which software is having the more jobs? Python is the only. SQL. SQL is a database. Then uh, Java followed by Java, Amazon ML and all. Amazon is a cloud. Amazon is a cloud and all. Am I right? Here SQL and scikit-learn. 
I told you, right? Cyclotron. SKL and I discussed last slide. That is a cyclotron full form. Maybe, right? These are the, some of the examples of the. Okay. So for any tool, if you learn Power BI, Python is required. For data science, Python is required. For data engineer, Python is required. For example, your body heart is not there. What happens? Heart is not there. What happens? Heart is not working. What happens? Blood circle stop. Heart is not working in your body. What happens? You will die. die. You will die. Maybe you can survive for next one hour. Maybe. Maybe next 10 minutes. 5 minutes. Maybe. May not be. Or 2 minutes, 1 minute. Right? Definitely not possible. If you don't have Python in your skill set or in your resume, you are almost dead at technically. If you don't have a Python, almost you are dead technically. Am I right? So Python is a hard for data engineers, for data analysts, for data scientists. Without Python, you cannot use these languages. Am I right? So, so if you look into the examples, the number of job opportunities also, Python is too much higher as compared to other languages. Platform independent. Python can be used in Windows, in Mac, in Ubuntu. Ubuntu means Linux or Unix. For example, you wrote a Python code in Windows. Operating system Windows operating system. The same code can be executed in Mac also. The same code can be executed in Linux or Unix also. Clear? Are you clear? Kangadhar. Giridhar. Are you clear? Ramakrishna. Are you clear, guys? Okay. Yes. Now, as we said, the large community, job opportunities are very high. Python independent platform independent and uh, easy syntax, rich libraries, and uh, open source. Let, let me stop here for today. In tomorrow, we will discuss about the features of Python. Now, any questions, any doubts, guys? Balaji, any questions? Any questions, any doubt? Ashwini Kumar? No. No, sir. Okay. Any questions, kindly let me know. And what I would request you, next to five classes are free, right? Today, apart from next five, just think it. If you like the session, then only join. No need to force anything. Ask me the questions. Whatever the questions you have, you can ask me. I'm more than happy to answer all, all, all your questions. Okay? Thank you, guys. Saurabh, any questions? Shiva Krishna, Sai Raghavendra, Varun Krishna, Vijayata Nag, how to improve solving the business case studies? See, very nice question. Solving the business case study. For example, let me ask a simple question. Let me ask a simple question. We are in Bangalore, right? Can you tell me how many how many cars we have in Bangalore? How many how many cars do we have in Bangalore? N numbers. Huh? N numbers. N number. What is N number mean? What does N, N mean? Uh, tell me, tell me. <laughs> no, nothing is shy. We are discussing. Uh -huh. We are learning here. No need to be shy. How many cars we have in Bangalore? I'm why I'm asking this question also. One of our one of our students asked how to improve solving business case studies. For that, I have asked this question. We need okay. to calculate the data from uh, every car companies, then only we'll be able to find. You don't uh, have a data. I ask you to guess. Five lakh. Sorry? Sorry, five please, lakh please. Lakh. Five lakhs. How did you reach the five lakhs? How, estimate. how did you estimate the five lakhs? How did you estimate the five lakhs? Based on the population. Based on the population. So population 1 crore, 1 land 5 lakhs. That means if 2 crores population, then number of cars will be 10 lakhs. Is it true? 
based on the income level of a family. Let me assume that. What is the population of Bangalore? What is the population of Bangalore? So just, I mean, just assume the simple numbers. No need to be typical numbers. Just make it a simple. Population of Bangalore is one CR. Okay. Just simple. So let's uh, get it. There is a greater than 80, 80 age and there is a less than 80. These people are not allowed to run the car. Right? These people are not allowed to use the car, right? <laughs> Can I say the 40%? As we have in population 40%. So the 40% are not been part of using the cars or having the cars. So the how many remaining people we have? 60 lakhs? 60. So 60 lakhs, as we have a developing country, everyone cannot able to afford the car maintenance, buying a car and all. Right? So almost 70 to 80 percent of the people would have two wheeler. Yes or no? Yes. That means we have 12 lakhs, right? So remove the 80 percent, directly 80 percent, 12 lakhs. Out of 12 lakhs, only two wheelers. There are the people who do not have a two wheeler and four wheeler also. Can I say 10 percent, maybe 15 percent? Let's say 30 percent. 7, I mean 12, 7, 8.4. So I got approximately 8.4 lakh. This is how I reach the solution. Maybe these numbers may correct, may not be correct. But here the steps, solve the business study. We go with the step by step. Always remember while solving the business case studies, be it a data scientist, data engineer, data analyst. Are in your real life. No need to jump into the solution. Step by step. For example, let me give best example also. For example, politician. Politicians. Can you tell me two famous politicians in India as of now? Modi. Modi. Amit Shah. Same party. No, op opponent party. I need opponent party. Modi. Modi versus Chandra Babu. He is a state leader. Yaar. I'm asking about national Gandhi. Gandhi versus Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi. Okay. They scold each other, right? Am I right? But will they beat each other? No. Directly. No. no. How Modi may uh, how Modi make Congress party as a weaker party are made as a weaker party. How? By scolding only it became weaker party? No, sir. Party became weak? No. How? There was the different steps. Economically, right? They sent, I mean, I'm not opposing or anything, just giving an idea. Maybe they use their, their like uh, systems like ED, CBI courts, right? Rides on the opponent party are pulling the opponent party members into their own party. Right? Right. Restriction the money flow. Automatically what happens when all these things? Party became weak. So, will it, is it possible to turn everything in a single day? No, sir. What is making the parties weaker? But go with the step by step. So if you want to improve the business skills also, never ever, my intent here, never ever make into or enter into judgment or solution. Try to solve the problem step by step. We'll discuss those kind of things. Uh, Likita, is it clear? Okay. Difference between cross platform and platform independent. Platform independent or class platform means there are three different platforms. What are those? OA, I mean, Windows. Ubuntu, Mac. Platform independent means no need to be code dependent. For example, if you write code in one platform, the same code can be used in other platform also. That is the meaning of platform independent. Agree? Cross platform, different platform is called as cross platform. Any other questions, guys? Any other question? Thank you. If you don't have any other questions, 
So cross-platform means different platforms. 